module two of the medication lecture series, we're going to talk around tolerance, dependence and withdrawal. What is tolerance? Tolerance is when the body adapts to something that it's been exposed to. Imagine that you're living in an environment that's colder than you are, where you are now. It may take some time, but eventually you're going to get used to that. Your body becomes tolerant to the cold. And so you don't experience as much of a negative effect when you, when you walk out into, on a cold, frosty morning. With medication, tolerance is when your body starts getting used to having that medication around. So that the effects that you see when you first start taking that medication lessens over time. When we're talking about pain medications, it means that over time you may see less pain reduction on the same dose of pain medication. Why does this happen? Well, it still confuses scientists as to exactly why tolerance occurs. However, it is something that we see in common with pretty much all of the pain medications. Tolerance can happen to other drugs as well, like alcohol. Part of the reason tolerance develops is because your body gets more efficient at metabolizing the medications. And the organs that the medication is affecting start to become resistant to the medication effects. So the nervous cells and the brain start to shut off their responsiveness to the drugs. Ultimately what this means is to see the same effect from your medication, you would need to take a higher dose. That may seem like a logical answer, but the problem is that every time you increase the medication dose, you will also increase the side effects. And you may not develop a tolerance to the side effects at the same rate that you develop a tolerance to the desired effects. This can lead to an imbalance where you see more problems with side effects as you increase the medication dose than you do beneficial effect. As a light example, think about when you first bite into a chocolate bar and how amazing that tastes. Then by the time you make your way through it, you don't seem to get quite as much enjoyment and pleasure. And by the time you get to the end, you may be feeling pretty unwell or sick. It's the same sort of approach with medications. As the dosage increases, the side effects are likely to increase as well. The consequence of all of this is we need to ask ourselves that at the time that we start to see tolerance developing with our pain medications, should we be increasing the dosage or should we be looking at other ways of helping to manage the problem? And if the problem is chronic pain, simply using medications is typically not the answer. 